Hello, and today I'm reviewing Sea Witch by Virginia Cantra. First off, I give this book a 5 out of 5 star review. I absolutely loved it. The style is a bit blunt, and um, the female main character in this book is um, quite different from most um, female characters. She's a pretty strong character. Um, in most romance novels, like, the female characters tend to be um, in trouble, but they, they really depend upon the male character to get out of that trouble. And in Sea Witch, it's completely different. The main character, Maggie, um, is a selkie who ends up being hunted by, well, I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, rather than the man, like he had a bit to do with her ultimate rescue, but she really kind of took matters into her own hands a couple of times. And I also thought that she was very, very brave at the end, but at the same time, the end was what, that, that was really the only issue I had with the book, was the ending, because she chooses to give up her immortality, um, to be with the love of her life, which is a powerful message, but however, I think that as human beings, we're fascinated by immortality, that's why we come up with things like vampires, and the fountain of youth, and... That's why Hollywood is obsessed with Botox, um, facial creams to prevent wrinkles, hair dye, etc. So I just, I don't know. I guess where people are fascinated with it, like they always want the main characters to live forever and not really die. Um, and she gives up her immortality. So that was really the only issue that I had with the book. I thought it was a very nice um, romance novel. It, um, in in case anybody doesn't know what a selkie is, like basically think of mermaid, but these guys like completely transform into a seal. So that's pretty much how it goes. Um, excellent book. If you've read it, let me know. And if you haven't, you should definitely pick it up. I got my copy off of Amazon. And it was pretty reasonably priced. So, and my next review is on the second book in the series, which is called Sea Fever. Which, and I love, I love series that tie characters into the next novel. I really like um, series that don't focus on, as far as romance series, I hope I don't like series that focus on the same couple book after book. I really, really like that um, people like Sherilyn Kenyon and Virginia Cantra and there was another mermaid series that I read a little bit back and it was kind of the same thing. But, um, the main character in Sea Witch, the man, he um, has a brother, and this is his brother's book. And I just started reading it, so. But this will be the review that hopefully I will get to tomorrow. Um, but after this, I have to wait on the third book to come in. So after that, I will be doing Godmother by Carolyn Turgan until the third one comes in. So like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you've read this series or if you've ever even heard of it.